Hey, this is Alex from Gretel. Today we're going to walk in through in through setting up a Ubuntu 22.04 LTS VM um, to run Gretel models and train Gretel models locally on your GPU, inside your cloud or at your desktop, whatever you prefer. So um, we're going to go ahead and start um, set up a base instance here, which is Ubuntu 22.04 running in Google Cloud. You can see here I gave it a 100 gig disk, otherwise totally stock. And um, the GPU we're running is a NVIDIA T4. So with that, we'll go ahead and grab the IP address and we'll go ahead and SSH over to the box to start setting it up. So open up a terminal, go ahead and log into the box, brand new box. So we are signed in now. First step we're gonna do is install a Python package manager. We're gonna make sure our Python version is working well. I like to use something called Anaconda. Let's go ahead and download that. So we're not downloading for Windows, we are downloading it for Linux. So hopefully take us to the right Linux installer here. You can see here, this is pointing us at a SH file. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link. We'll wget it over here, install. It's downloaded now, we're gonna go ahead and run it. Let it install locally in our environment. So license, install in my home directory. Installing the environment, installing the base packages for Conda. Yes. Okay, Conda is installed, but it's not activated yet. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out and SSH right back in. The same command, which will activate my bash command, give me an activated conda environment. So here we can see the base conda environment is installed. Let's go ahead and make a custom Python in, or a conda environment here, which is going to run Python 3.9 for us. Conda create. Go ahead and create our environment. Activate the environment now. So kind of activate Gretel and we'll install the one package we need here, which is the Gretel client. If you are running in a CPU only mode right now, um, you are good to go. We can go ahead and set up the Gretel. Um, we'll go ahead and configure Gretel to run uh, locally for us. Run Gretel configure. It's going to point to our API in the cloud. We'll only metadata is sent back if you're running in local mode. Um, we prefer our default runner actually to be cloud, but we'll uh, have it run locally when we're running here. Now it asks for a Gretel API key. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I use my Google credentials. Sign into Gretel. We'll finish setting up Gretel here, and then we'll go back to setting up GPU requirements. Grab my API key, go ahead and paste it in. Great. And we'll go ahead and create a default project while we're here. So Gretel projects create name projects default. Go ahead and create a default project to use later. So we'll call that later. Now to the fun stuff. We're going to go ahead and get uh, GPU and Docker and all of those different areas set up and ready to run. So next step for us is we are going to install Docker. Actually, I believe the NVIDIA Docker install actually walks us through to run here. So let's go ahead and see if that's in here. And I think it is. So we're gonna run Docker with NVIDIA support for GPU acceleration. It supports Ubuntu 22.04, so we should be good here. Prerequisite, what it's asking us to do here first is install the NVIDIA driver for our, our distribution. So let's go ahead and find that driver. Pro tip that I've learned here, even though we're running on a kind of an old 
um, NVIDIA T4 uh, data center grade uh, GPU. Um, using the most recent driver that you can find tends to work the best. So we're just going to pretend that we have a RTTX, RTX uh, 40 series here, 4090, why not? That'll give us the most recent driver. So 525.89, very recent driver. Um, we'll go ahead and click download. It's going to take us to an agreement screen. And here we can actually see, you can see down at the very bottom here, I can grab the link. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, I just right clicked on the agree and download. I grabbed a link here. I'm going to go ahead and download the driver directly to my VM in Google Cloud. So it's running here. We see our new thing. We're going to go to um, SH. And before we install the NVIDIA drivers, we're going to go ahead and install some base essentials uh, in, in uh, Ubuntu. So let's do go ahead and do a uh, sudo apt get install build essential just in case it needs kernel drivers here. Click yes. Gone ahead and download and uh, installed the essentials here. Let's go ahead and take a look again and find our NVIDIA driver. I'm going to try running it as sudo. I think we might need to run this with does not want me to do that. Run this bash. You have it full permissions to run using the sudo command. We'll go down here while it's running and try to find our Ubuntu installation instructions here. CentOS. Looks like I skipped over it. and Debian. Perfect. Okay. 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 We've installed the accelerated driver. Now we have to go ahead and install Docker. So we're going to grab this convenience script right here. I like to do this one step at a time. So we're first, we're just going to grab this first command, install that, which will install Docker, and then we'll run our next command, which is going to enable the Docker service. finished running here, it's telling me that we need to run as a privileged mode. So first we're just going to turn on uh, Docker. So go ahead and run this. Next we're going to install the container toolkit. Best to just grab these right from here. We're going to cut and paste them into our environment and go ahead and run that. Just so we know how to find the new packages, we'll go ahead and run sudo apt-get update. Install the NVIDIA Container Toolkit. Configure the runtime. Restart Docker. And let's see if it's able to access the GPU now um, using our NVIDIA drivers that we installed and a container image which is downloading from the Docker repository um, called NVIDIA SMI. So essentially this is going to run a equivalent of a PS. Here we can see it ran, it found the Tesla T4, we're looking really good. We still have to run sudo to run Docker, we don't want to have to run that uh, forever as sudo. So we're going to go ahead and enable this now so we can run without sudo mode. So let's go ahead and run a sudo group 
add Docker, assuming it hasn't been added, has been created already. Okay, so now I'm enabling my user as a pseudo user um, to uh, access the Docker service. Let's go try this. Found its best, uh, once again, to exit out, restart our environment after we've done that. So I just SSH'd out, I'm gonna SSH back in. Um, we're going to do conda activate Gretel. Let's get back into our Python environment and let's go ahead and run the same Docker command, but we're going to try running now without using sudo. We ought to be fine to do that now. Let's try that. So with our group add, sign it back out, sign it back in. We are now able to run the container. Already downloaded the container and cached it so we don't have to run it again. So we are looking quite good on that front we should be good to run Gretel now. So we're gonna start training a model using a local GPU for training, which is pretty exciting. So uh, we'll go back. Easy way to get started with Gretel is from our docs. We'll go there, we'll do the examples, synthesize tabular data, and to make this as easy as possible, let's just use a CLI command. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a uh, new directory here called adult income 5K. Kind of famous Kaggle data set for financial uh, prediction. Go ahead in that directory. Um, I've already, we'll create a default project here, but I uh, made a, um, a default project earlier. We're gonna download this example data set here. So downloaded the data set, take a quick look at it. We see ages, little categorical variables. Uh, we see some uh, bucket encoded variables as well. All that stuff will get uh, picked up and learned by our model pretty quickly. And then here's a CLI command that we can use to, uh, to run the model. So Gretel models create, let's go ahead and just take our default here. We're gonna make a couple quick changes here. So here we've got uh, a name for the project, which is synthetic income model. We're gonna give it a project name, Alex default, same project we created earlier. You can use any of our models here. I'm gonna use tabular Actian because it runs quickly. Amplify runs very quickly and doesn't require a CPU or a GPU, which is something to keep in mind. And we're gonna change the run mode here to run local. What that means is we're gonna download the container to a local environment and run there. So Gretel models create, runner local, config, tabular act again, using this input CSV, outputting right here in the local directory, the synthetic data and report, and what we're going to name it, which project we wanna use. Click go. It's able to configure the GPU for model training and it is attempting to download and extract uh, the uh, container to run our model now. Okay, it's downloaded the container for the first time. It's cached it locally, so it only has to happen once and a worker has picked it up um, and is starting to train on my local instance. See the same config that we passed in, the default actgan config plus the uh, parameters that were selected for training. Running on a pretty small sample data set, so this should compute fairly quickly. Wait here and we'll see training kick off here in a second. Okay, it is training. Let's go ahead and confirm that the GPU is working like we think it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and SSH into our box here that is currently running Docker. You can see here, um, Python's running. None of the CPUs are being pegged too hard. So let's go ahead and take a look at NVIDIA SMI command. And here we can see the Python is currently using the GPU um, and we get uh, about 64 watts out of 70 watts usage. So it's being utilized pretty well. Um, so GPU is definitely uh, being used here. Uh, model training has complete here, so we can see it finished up all uh, 600 epochs that it was running on. Synthetic quality score was an 80 out of 100, which is great for a small data set like what we had there. Um, and we can find the artifacts have been downloaded to our local system here. You can see the same type of artifacts here that are reported in our, in our docs. If you wanna go ahead and take a look at uh, what the data looks like, the synthetic data, go ahead and take a look at that. Here's our synthetic data set that matches the same insights and distribution as original data it was based on, but no records are repeated or 
um, duplicate between the, uh, the real world and the synthetic data model generation.